Hello there and welcome to a brand new Hobby Streak week. This week we start with day 2231 and as ever last night I uh, finished off my Hobby Streak week with a lovely game uh, or a lovely roleplay game. This week I was running it and I was doing Sexy Hairdresser Vampires which is a really fun game. It's pretty much just on the fly stuff and it was um, a lot of fun and I had a great time running it. This week, however, begins proper with uh, more Marvel zombies because I've got so much of it. Um, it's Sandman and Spider Woman. I have to say that the Spider Woman model is possibly the worst model they've actually done for Marvel zombies. Um, the thick black lines on her outfit really sort of make her stand out. It looks sort of amateurish compared to everyone else, and I'm not a massive fan of this model whatsoever. In contrast, however, um, Sandman really, really like the look of this guy. Um, he should be fun to paint. I hope he's going to be fun to paint. There's going to be lots of uh, dry brushing, sort of blending sort of technique going on um, with the trousers area and where the sand meets his clothes. All in all, looking forward to doing him, um, Uwe Mrs. Um, we managed, or we, it's really me, I don't know why I keep saying we. I managed to get through... Um, so the vast majority of them both are very nearly done, um, but uh, I didn't have enough time to finish them off or uh, finish them off the finish them off completely. As you can see, so close to the end. Spider Woman definitely will be finished tomorrow. Sandman should as well. Lots of dry brushing ahead of me. Um, that's for certain. Iceman and Shadow Cat uh, also arrived today. Uh, I completely forgot what it was. <laughs> to be honest, so it's a bit of a, a nice surprise. Box is a bit dented, uh, so hopefully the mitts are fine. Today is 2,232, and I'm going to finish off Marvel Zombies, Spider Woman, and Sandman. Wasn't really much left to do on these guys. It was a matter of sorting out the uh, the connecting areas for Sandman, um, and then lots of dry brushing, lots and lots and lots of dry brushing to get him uh, finished. Well, almost finished. After that, it was just a few bits and bobs on uh, Spider-Woman, uh, then faces and bases and done. I can honestly say, though, without a doubt, this Spider-Woman model is definitely the worst of the bunch out of Marvel Zombies. She's not very good whatsoever, and I really didn't enjoy uh, painting her. She's, uh, she's uncharacter uncharacteristically bad. However, with her out of the way, I got to move on to the next Blackstone Fortress thing, which is the Dreaded Amble. At first, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with the miniature. Uh, looking at like pictures online, he tends to be sort of a bluey sort of uh, color. So I thought I'd start with Arkelian Green. I know it's got green in the title, but it comes off more blue, as you can see in the picture. Plus, I'm going to add some Null Noil to darken the areas before I actually start dry brushing. However, that was as far as I could get, um, as basically the wash wasn't drying uh, quickly enough. So I thought I'd call it early. Only about 15 minutes left, so it's not too much of a problem. Very happy with the way Sandman and Spider Woman come out, despite the fact Spider Woman is an ugly, ugly model. Um, and looking forward to painting the dreaded amble, plus his two little gribbly things that he comes with. Another package also arrived in the way of a Star Wars Rebel Star Wars Shatterpoint uh, set. I have ordered the other half of this as well. I do think it's a bit cheeky, to be honest, that they split these guys up, but they didn't split up um, like the, the, the bad batch. But, you know, what can you do if you want to get them all? You've got to pay the price. Today is 2,233, and work will continue on the dreaded amber. Ooh. I'm not going to get much done on him, to be honest. The reason why I didn't get much done on him, though, uh, however, is because I was just waiting for washes to dry. I wanted to make the, uh, the blue, or greeny blue, a little bit darker, so I gave him... Um, a few more uh, washers. While he was drying, though, I did um, do his little gribbly friends. Um, but then I couldn't get away from all the washers, and I didn't really particularly want to start another new project uh, while I was doing this one. But the tiny little gribbly uh, things are mostly done now, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> there's not much left to do. And uh, the dreaded amble should get finished soon. I'm not sure how much time I've got tomorrow, because I'm off to uh, my parents to basically help fix a door. And I have no idea what time that's happening yet. So in other words, I haven't got a clue um, how much time I've got for my hobby streak week. However, it's not too much of a problem. If, uh, if I can't get any painting done, I've got two box sets to put together so I can start putting those together. Today is 2,234 um, and I don't have time to do any painting today. So uh, instead, I'm just gonna stick together Iceman and Shadowcat. 
Basically, I was busy uh, fixing a door for my uh, for my parents, so I had to do that instead. Um, and that basically took all day. So by the time I got home, I just wasn't in the mood for any painting or anything like that. So I thought I would just give uh, give these guys uh, put together. Then, <sighs> annoyingly, I realised I'm pretty much out of plastic glue. Um, so I had to purchase some more of that, which will arrive uh, tomorrow because I got it from Prime. It's kind of annoying though because I was going to stick together the Star Wars Shadowpoint box uh, I got as well. So can't do that until tomorrow now. Like all the glue that was left was just in the sort of on the tip basically. It wouldn't like flow into the uh, applicator. So I had to use the flat fat end and oh, that was really difficult. There's not much left glue left in there. Um, so I can use that for sort of larger models. But still a bit of a pain in the backside. But there they are, two uh, lovely models. Can't wait to get them painted. Not sure we're going to be able to do it though. Hopefully soon-ish. Today is day 2235 and I will continue with the dreaded amble. Although I've got to say my uh, my hand is kind of hurting from all the manual sawing I had to do yesterday. So uh, I'm not really going to get much done. At first I thought I would do a very light dry brush uh, for the armor. Um, didn't look very good to be honest, so <laughs> I, I, uh, I thought I'd ignore that and I'll actually just paint it by hand and uh, you know do a uh, do a far more um, cleaner job of it, I suppose. And from there we just continued where we left off, worked on the midsection, worked on those claws, and started working on all those bright orange dots. So yeah, as I said, he's coming along quite nicely. Unfortunately, I couldn't do as much as I wanted to today, but you know. Um, that's my own fault. He is looking very nice though. I, 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 I must admit, I really do like this model. He's, he is quite a joy to paint. The other Star Wars Shatterpoint Rebel set uh, arrived. And I gotta say, shame on Atomic Mass Games for forcing people to basically pay £45 each to get both box sets. That's, uh, that's worse than Games Workshop. Today is day 2236 and uh, I've only got about an hour today um, before I have stuff to do but I will continue with the dreaded amble because um, I didn't have much time it was basically a matter of sorting out a few of those minor details so I finished the orange spots um, finished the claws and then went ahead um, and started working on like his eyes and the rest of the mandibles and uh, then after I started to paint all the maggots I hit an incredible wash wall so I couldn't go any further even if I wanted to. So we will be finished tomorrow and then I can finally get started on the next stuff which is more Marvel Zombies. Uh, but tonight in the evening I think I'm going to stick together the Star Wars uh, Shadowpoint Rebel stuff that I've got. Which is exactly what I did in the evening, but it does it did bring up a bit of a bit of a really massive annoyance for me. This is all the leftover cards from three sets of Shatterpoint on one set of Marvel Crisis Protocol. This can't be cost effective. This is like so annoying. These are all in different languages. These are all foreign languages. I mean, come on, this is just going to end up in the bin. I could put them on eBay. But is anyone actually really going to buy it? I mean, I don't see the point. This is this is like absolutely this is so infuriating. I absolutely hate it because I feel like I'm just wasting money. Like surely this cannot be cost effective in any way. And honestly, it's it's oh, it is just a pain in the backside. So uh, thanks for the garbage, Atomic Mass. Today is day two thousand two hundred and thirty-seven, and I'm going to finish off the dreaded amble. Uh, there wasn't really much left to do, as you can see. Uh, it was just a matter of finishing off the mandibles, highlighting those eyes, and doing all the little maggots on uh, on basically all three of them, and then sorting out the um, the wings on the tiny. Completely forgot the words. <laughs> the wings on the tiny little gribblies. After I quickly based them, I realised they had quite a lot of time left over. So then I thought I'd hop onto the next project which is Marvel Zombies, uh, Kingpin, and uh, Vanessa Fisk. However, <laughs> it wasn't very long before I uh, once again hit a wash wall with these guys. So I then went ahead and started another project, which is Marvel Zombies Black Cat. And it wasn't very long before I hit another wash wall, but thankfully though, that had given enough time for uh, the wash wall on Fisk, on the Fisks, I guess, to dry. So I managed to finish off their trousers and uh, Vanessa's dress, uh, but that was as far as I've gone. 
I'm pretty happy with the way everything's come out. Uh, I really like the dreaded Amble. I think he's a lovely model. And I can't wait to finish off the stuff for Marvel Zombies. Um, of course, it's Sunday today, as well as I'll upload my video later on. I'll be doing my uh, my role play, which I'm actually running uh, this week. I'm doing Shadow Dark, so I can't wait for that. However, this week I can't really say I'm like impressed with myself. I've only managed to finish, uh, what's that, five models, but I did have something important to do, and uh, I like the way they look. So, Fingers crossed next week will be a lot more productive, um, because as I said, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I'll actually have some more stuff to show you next week rather than the tiny amount that I did uh, this week. Thanks once again, and goodbye for now.